Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. As you can see, we are now heading south. We have left Windfall Island and a quick jaunt over to Dragon Roost will set you en route to where you need to be. Now, as you can see, we have an option here to speed it up a little bit. And in doing so, We'll get you going pretty quickly. You don't need to use the Wind Waker anymore, which is convenient. This here is a little detour that we will be taking eventually. A place called Fire Mountain. We're not heading there yet, though, because we don't have the right tools. We're not equipped. So we're just going to keep sailing, I mean, ideally south. <laughs> if we go the wrong way, the King of Red Lines will stop us and tell us where to go. But let's check our map. We should be... Yeah, we're... I mean, it's 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 gonna be a hot minute. Well, I'm trying... Okay. Thank you. I'm trying to head south. What is that? I wonder if I just strayed a little bit too far... To this... Okay. Is that not the way to go? Is that not where I'm supposed to? Now I'm very confused. What happens if I do this? Just using this as like a marker of which way to go. Not because I need it, obviously. I don't think this does anything in terms of like speed. But this does give me a clear indicator that I'm heading south. Which is where I'm supposed to be going, so I don't know why the game is being all finicky about this. Are we headed the right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sometimes when you play this game, it does that kind of nonsense where you have to just be very careful about what you're doing. And not stray outside the little grid that it has predetermined for you, and if you do, then it wants to murder you. Oh yeah, hey, let me show this. I talked about this, but I didn't really do anything with it. Whoop. Okay, just gonna sail right past it on this poopy water. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, so this is something I did talk about. Um... Okay, we're gonna, we'll get it eventually, where is it? You'll hear it, obviously, as you can, with the gigantic moon in the background, or is that the sun? That's probably the sun. I'm not trying to waste time, I promise. Alright, so it looks like it's there, in between those two ripples. Ruffles have ridges! Okay, so we're just gonna creep up on it. Oi, we're gonna creep up on him! Alright. So there we go. Nope. Other side. Okay. So if you successfully go into where the little glowing circles are and you open these treasure chests, you get a nice little prize. As far as I know, oops. Pretty sure this water is a little bit too deep for Link to be, just be doing that in. Um, as far as I know, that is... Am I going the right... Okay, there. Stay on target. It will, it will always be a rupee unless... If I had to guess, maybe there's like a, a part of the treasure chart which leads you towards maybe a piece of heart. Also, it's very spooky out here without any, any musics. There's all these little islands that are around. This looks suspicious. What is this? Hello, what is this? And what is this? All right, so let's go ahead and... This is a good opportunity to get... Um... If you're still in need of joy pendants, I'm, I should not be in my time going around and trying to... explore to get money for the auction. I did grab quite a few. I think I have... Uh, 
I got 20. That's what you need, so. Are these the people that tried to go down and see the Titanic? Oh, okay. Too soon, D Mike. Too soon. All right. This looks like a bit of a submarine. Okay. Maybe a little. Ooh. You little thief? I don't think so. Maybe a Bacoblin hideout. AKA Bacoblin, get your butt spanked out. Or something. That's not a thing. Also, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what the orb, the color of the orbs means, if it does mean anything. Oof. Just getting. Just getting clobbered. That's what my dad would say. You're just clobbered him. Just really giving him the business. Well, it looks like you can even, uh. You can get joy pendants just from killing them. You don't have to use your grappling hook. That's interesting. I was not aware of that. Not that it matters. Alright, getting a little tired of the starting and stopping of the enemy music. Don't need that in my life. Alright, here is the here's the big bad. That was fun. Oh he's not dead yet. Oh no he is. Okay, just kidding. I'm I moided him. I love me some moida. There will be justice and murder. Alright. Let's see what we get. Hooray! When you're out on the great sea and you need to pee, make sure you carry around an empty bottle for thee. I made that up on the fly. I am a poet and I wasn't aware of it. But anyway, that's a good chance to get yourself more joy pendants if you need them. And if you don't, like me, because I mean, <laughs> anyway, if you don't, um, it's just a good opportunity to, where am I going? Whoop. Well, I'm heading the complete wrong direction. The red arrow is the direction of where you're going, and I just figured that out. Let me show off one of these two. I haven't done this either. So every so often... I don't know if I've done this one yet. I hope I haven't, or that would be stupid. Every so often, when you are sailing, you'll come across these little outposts that are armed to the to the gills and in this case there's a there's a two bacoblins of course killing both of them will net you a prize now this is just me but this music sounds like something it would be out of like dragon ball z like when there's like kind of a tense moment and they're like as a group trying to figure out who the big bad is it's kind of the vibe i got but there you go and in teleports a prize. Usually it's money. Probably like a yellow rupee or something. Oh, red. Okay, nice. We're not really in need of money presently, but in the future, of course, we'll want some. But like I mentioned before, it's a matter of just... Are these like turrets? It's a matter of... Uh... Just going out to these little circular areas. They're glowing and just salvaging the dub. Just renting or buying a uh, buying a storage unit. Maybe a war. Here we go. This is our next destination. Welcome. Hey. Hey. The Forest Haven. Woo. Yes. So this is where our friends, the Koroks, live. No poop, though. But we need to visit the Great Deku Tree to get Furore's Pearl, which is the one of the goddesses from this game that should have been made into a third game of the Oracle series, but she never got her own game. Instead, she became the Oracle of Secrets, which is boring and stupid. Okay, very nice. Does this do anything? Good evening! I don't have anything for that. Okay. I do believe that you can get a, uh, a piece of heart from this if you haven't gotten it from Windfall. This is just the next opportunity to do so. And that is... Oh, your Deku Babas? 
you can get that from um, from helping her son with the mail. Oh yeah, the Boko Baba Seed. We do actually want to grab a handful of these. And I will show you, I don't know if it'll be in this episode specifically, but let's just keep our eyes on the number four. Okay, didn't get one there, that sucks. Oops, excuse me. Boink! Gonna nip that in the bud. Okay, very awesome. I love not getting the spoils of war. We're just gonna keep going after these guys as much as we can. You will want quite a few. Okay, am I, am I getting them or am I not getting them? I feel like I'm not getting them. I got one. Ooh, you know what I should have been doing? I should have been using my, uh, I'm being a big old dingus. I should have been using my grappling hook to see if that would get it for me. But anyway, today is all about just trying to get into the gosh dang forest haven. That's our main goal here. So we've got a blooper over here. Get your gosh dang, oh, that's an Octorot. Get your gosh dang Mario out of my Zeldas. Oop, what is this shield button? Oh, it's because I, because <laughs> I have my, uh, okay, this is stupid. What is, do I not have my shield equipped? What is happening right now? What am I doing? Is that something I have to equip? I thought I already just auto equipped it. Oh, it's Z, oh my gosh, viewers, I'm so stupid. Well, that's an Octorok. That's how you dispatch them in basically every Zelda game that I'm aware of. Um, can I jump to this? Okay. Now I'm curious if this will work. Yeah, there you go. So I could have had five by now, but I'm an idiot, and I just decided that I was going to kill everything. And they don't drop them by default, so we will have to take it from them by force, which is great. I enjoy that. Yeah, you should always be doing that with enemies. Um, excuse me, sir. With the enemies you face, you should always be going out of your way to grab whatever droppable item they have. Because this game will, will reward you eventually. There's some sort of a side quest or, a, you know, a, a character... We're in position. You gotta hold both. There we go. Does that feel jerk? I think this water is safe enough that we can just swim in it. Nope, it's not. I lied. Not safe. <laughs> Please stop. Okay. Oh, cool. Just what I wanted. Viewers, is, is, uh, as you can tell, or maybe you can't. If you can't, good for you, and thank you for being sincere. If you can't tell. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I recorded this bad boy. So you'll just have to bear with me or don't. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, as you can tell. Alright. I didn't see another spot that I could jump from. Oh, it's right above me. <laughs> it's almost like I should use my gosh dang eyeballs. There we go. A little more. Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to tell. Calm water very much not like rushing water, isn't moving. So, right now, did that give me, did I have four or was that three? What am I doing? Stop. I wanna say that was, I wanna say that was three. Ugh. I'm gonna go in here real quick and see if I can re-spawn. Actually, there might be, though, there might be Deku Babas in here. Maybe I don't need to. But here you go, the inside of the forest haven. A sacred place. Where we will now go in and murder everything. And somehow climb up waterfalls. This is a pretty nice part of the game. Uh, the game is still pretty much, you know, in my opinion, um, this is still training wheels mode. Don't fool yourself into thinking that it's hard just because I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing. You know, don't don't get it 
Don't get it crooked. I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. This is all for show. I need to get, uh... There we go. I'm just gonna grab these and sneak right past you. Ooh, there's three of you here. That's great. That would give me six. I'd like to have eight. Did I do my math right? I did. Okay. So there's two. This one is going to be an annoyance, so I will kill this one. Or not. Oop! You're, you're a feisty one, huh? I don't need you anymore. Yeah. It's one of those things where I told myself, I was like, oh, I'm not going to do this, and then I, I second guess myself a lot. Classic! You ever do that, viewers? You ever second guess yourself? How about third guess yourself? You ever do that? I'm a pro at that. Here we go. Alright, let me jump over here. Speedrun past the Octoroks. It's actually Speedrun Strat. Official Speedrun Strat. Compliments of me. Alright, we're gonna do this quick. There we go. Ooh. I was, I think I just got it right before the animation started. Okay, now we can officially head inside. Now, we have a separate bottle. We do have the red potion, which we won't be using, of course, because that would be wasteful. But now that we have our second potion, or second bottle, we will be using that for something else today, if we have time. This, my friends, is our boy. The Great Deku Tree. Ooh, looks like he's... Not washed his face recently. He's got some unfortunate some acne here. Do you think we can help him out? Maybe we just give him a nice little nudge. There we go. And now we just have to kill a bunch of chews. Don't worry, we're choosing to do this. <laughs> Holy slowdown. But this gives you a ton of uh, chew jelly. I don't know what green chew jelly does. I think it's. Once they come up with the, eventually in the game, it gives you the, uh, the formula for turning it into a magic potion. But there we go, we helped out our boy. Yep. There's probably an alphabet decoder online. You can look that up for yourself if you want to. Just pause the video and check that out. Link is, of course, not phased by this at all. Kind of sounds like Treebeard from Lord of the Rings. But I think that Treebeard could speak English, or at least like Hobbitese or whatever. Well, I hope that's his hand. Oh, well, we thought we were an ancient Hylian. We're not. Just the boy. Seems like he knows our boat, which is nice. We're in good hands then. Friends of friends. We do need the Pearl of the Goddess. We need the Ferrari's Pearl. It seems like they were aware of it being here and they wanted it too, so... Clearly, obvious sign that Ganon has returned. Oh, I thought he said Crooks. Alright. Come out, Koroks. We're all friends! Yaha! Do we remember these guys? If anybody that's played Breath of the Wild recently, you'd know them? I don't know what game they were introduced in. I want to say this one, but these are obviously the children of the forest. I'm not sure if these were other beings previous to turning into Koroks or not. But they're spirits. There you go. Okay, so... Apparently these were humans at one point who had metamorphosized into weird little wooden turds. But we made it just in time for the Korok ceremony, which is great. We have to do it. All right, let's play some tunes. Oh, I guess we can't. We're missing the, the bandmaster. Oh, uh, Makar, always late. Can relate. Viewers, you ever been late to everything? Seems like one of their friends is stuck in the Forbidden Woods. That's not good. Oh no. Makar! Makar is one of the best characters in this game. 
as you'll soon learn. So the Forest Haven is right next to the Forbidden Woods. Auspicious placement. It's great that we have this beautiful magical place with these forest spirits and there's just a bunch of turd burglars next door in the Forbidden Woods. But McCarr needs our help, so we will, we will do it. But it seems like we're not going to be able to get there by boat. We can't walk. Hmm. Because we're going to have to go through the air. Maybe we could get something special. Maybe that'll help. To fly through the sky. What could it be? Viewers? What do you think? Oh, he's got gas. <sighs> there you go. The great Deku tree has manifested a leaf? Okay. What is what is that special? I don't understand. But uh yeah, just leave it to the great Deku tree to make us do a chore in order to help. Talk about annoying. Stump shaped houses, okay. So as you can see, these are going to be our primary form of transportation. These are Boko bulbs. We're going to need to line up square with the roots in front of us. Hold the direction of where you're trying to go. It also really helps if you uh, aim properly. You have like a moment while you're still in the air to recalibrate. You're just using the left stick to do this by the way, not the right stick at all. And if you feel like you didn't quite get it, just hold still. You're going to want to lean in all the way when you're sending Link to the next bulb. And this one should give us just a flat platform to go to. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Knight? Rest in peace, Pop Knight. Yes, so... That's the kind of the hint is that you need to course correct. That's how you do it. Just hold on to it and just l land back in the same bulb you were in before. All right, so here's a little bit of platforming for you. Land in this bulb. Ooh, that was close. I did, I did not think I got it. Yeah, this is definitely something you don't want to rush through because having to redo this is a pain. So we're going to be careful here and Take our times. And if I don't feel confident about it, as you can see, I'm just going to pace myself and wait for the next one. Sometimes you get it in one or two tries, and that feels pretty good. And there she blows. Dun 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 dun! The legendary Deku Leaf. So you can use it to knock enemies away, but we're going to be using it to fly. And this is the introduction of the magic meter that's the green bar underneath our health. So now that we have this, we can, of course, right away, go right to this boy. We can do that. Or, there's some optional stuff that we can do, which May or may not pan out for us. We're gonna find out. I need. I want to try to land in this bulb here. Yeah. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. I thought I would be able to just jump from this and get it going, but we'll find out. There is a higher ledge you can get to, I think, from over there. I'm gonna land in this bulb here. Yeah. Boop. All right. And it, of course, will be using your, um, your magics. I think I can get up higher. Maybe this is just the... Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it is this way. <laughs> oh, there's like a weird... Oh, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Okay. So this is something you can do. This is not something that I care much about, but you can do this if you're interested. 
Um, that little island down there that has that little switch, um, that unlocks something called the Nintendo Gallery, which is basically like a... Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a gallery that you get rewards for capturing pictures of certain things like bosses and people, unique enemies and characters in the game. I'm what you call a person who does not care about that, so I'm not going to do that. I will do my best. Don't forget, make sure you keep a good eye on your magics. Because if you don't, you'll be in trouble. So there it is. That's the Forbidden Woods. Forbidden Forest, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So the things that we'll, that we'll be doing... Um, You know, we'll, we'll do them eventually. Uh, we need to obviously head into... The Forbidden Woods over there. And basically the game is telling you that you need to use your... Um, you need to use the Wind Waker to... Blow the direction of the wind at your back. If you don't, then you won't be able to do that. But there actually are some things that we can do. I just, I alluded to this and I like very poorly phrased it. Um, there actually is another exit in here, I think. I'm trying to think of what word it is. Let me get my bearings here. So there's the Deku tree. There it is. I was looking right at it. So this is a little area you can go. And we're going to get something neat. Hello? I'm always high in spirits. This is Hollow. He's the potion master of the Deku Forest. So what he's going to need from us are some seeds. That recover magic power. And these are the seeds that I was telling you about previously. You are going to want to go ahead and get into... That's not it. You're going to want to get into your spoils bag and get out your Deku Baba seeds. Show them to Hollow. And he's going to make you a super replenishing potion. Now, obviously, you can only do this if you have that second bottle that I told you about. So make sure you're popping bottles in the ice like a blizzard. Very, very nice. Anjala Manjala Choe. He's gonna shoot his goo on us. I love the sounds that they make when they wa waddle over to us. And there you go. So this is a blue potion. This gives you life and magic. You can get as many as you have space for, so if you're in need of that, just something worth considering if you are wanting more potions. Also over here, there's a firefly that you can put into a bottle as well. And in doing so, that will net you... Um, in the original game, that's how you got the deluxe picto box, actually. I'm going to try to do this a little bit quickly. Because I wanted to show off one last thing in the dregs of time that we have left. Oops, that's not it. Okay, very cool. For some reason, I thought that there was going to be another one there because I saw that stem and I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely it. It's not it. Narrator, it was definitely not it. That was not it either. So I'm trying to do this quickly. It turns out that doing things quickly sometimes doesn't work. All right. You can do these little micro adjustments in the air. Or not in the air, while you're in the pod itself. We just need to launch straight up into it. Whoop, there we go. Get out our hook shot. Grappling hook. It's not a hook shot. I wish it was. Hook shot's the pretty much the proverbial best item in every Zelda game. And if you think if you think if you think if you think that's wrong, then you're wrong. Viewers, this is how it is. I'm the Zelda expert. My entire channel is about only Zelda videos and stuff. Whatever. Actually do need to switch over to the leaf, or this is not going to be a very fruitful endeavor. Alright. 
So now that we do have the leaf though, we can glide on over here. We're gonna want to make sure that we do have a full outcropping of magix. Okay. All right, there we go. That's that's a full full heal. So heading over to the Forbidden Forest is what you can do, but there's something neat over here. So go ahead and get out your your Wind Waker. I'm always afraid when I show this that I'm gonna forget what it is. So we're gonna head southeast, as you can see, and this is gonna take pretty much all your magic. So glide on over this way to this little item way over yonder. It's gonna take most of the magic we have, but this should be enough. We oh. I was really concerned. My butthole puckered right there. I was like, oh no. Okay. So very nice. And uh, yeah, that is where we're going to actually stop today with that treasure chart. And then Next time, we're going to go head into the Forbidden Woods. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.